My name is Zach Flint. Bingo Bots is important to me because, first of all, it gives me something to do during the winter months when I'd probably be holed up in my dorm. But also, it's uh, kind of a neat blend of a team atmosphere, but also when you step in the ring, uh, you're by yourself and you kind of learn to depend on yourself. My name is Patrick Shea, and Bengal Belts has taught me how to keep on fighting even when I'm tired. So both of these guys with some good experience, though they're just sophomores. Patrick Shea made it to the finals last year before losing to the man we mentioned in the last fight, Jeff Ulrich, in the 166-pound class. And then in the gold corner, Zach Flint. He won two fights last year, then lost to Sun O Cho, who went on to win the finals against another great boxer in Alex Olerys. These two, a very great matchup, and we'll send it down. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention again to the ring for the championship bout of the 173 pound weight division. The fighters, standing in the blue corner, a sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia, representing Keo Hall, Patrick Patty Cake Shea. His opponent, standing in the gold corner, a sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio, representing Siegfried Hall, Zach Bedrock Flint. And this is your classic matchup of technique versus power and explosiveness. That's Flint's game, the power and the explosiveness. He admitted he's not gonna fight the prettier fight, and he knows he's going up against what he calls maybe the most technical fighter and striker in the whole program in Patrick Shea. Yeah, you know, if you're looking at Patrick Shea right now, one of the things that always flummoxes me is where his hand placement is. He's almost asking for Flint to come down the pipe and get him right in the face. Looks like Flint tripped over his own shoes. Nothing wrong there. No standing eight count. Moving on. We just And what you were saying about keeping the hands a little bit wide, that's something Flint does as well. And Shea was saying he doesn't have the best technique sometimes, or Flint doesn't. So Shea wants to take advantage of that and come at him with punches down the middle because he also can kind of go crazy sometimes. And we'll see if he can keep those hands right where they need to be defensively. Yeah, Flint, Flint is definitely more of the brawler than Shea. Shea, they're both, they're both quick guys. That, you know, it's just really good combinations right there. You see... Flint coming down from the top. Shea trying to land some on the body. Both, both very effective. Yeah, another great example in this fight of guys losing to terrific boxers last year in Cho and Ulrich respectively and then improving from it. Learning from it and coming back this year as sophomores and making it to the finals. Both guys came to all the, every single day of practice. They were, they were there. They were helping to lead, leading by example. They, they're, they're ready for this moment. Flint got some more training in this summer at a boxing gym back home in Cincinnati. Shea from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice clench there. Ooh, out of the clench. That's a, it's a little bit cheap. No harm there, though, as they reset. And that closes out the first round between Patrick Shea and Zach Flint, 173 pounds, and a strong showing to start. Yeah, I, you know, I think that was a, a very even first round. Uh, a lot of, it almost seemed like nervous energy coming out of that ring. There wasn't much uh, technicality of, of the standing in weight like we might have seen from a, from a Neils or a Garrity. There was more, let's go, let's start right away. Look at this looping punches from Flint. Landed probably more than half of them, though. And I think Shea's idea was, well, I'll get it on the body. I don't really need to worry so much about my face right now. Interesting to see what adjustments they make. I, you know, I think, uh, again, Patrick keeping his hands up closer to his face and punching straight down the middle. Flint's a guy who's going to go outside on you all day long, and every time he goes outside, he exposes the middle. Shea in these last two rounds, unanimous decision victories. Flint, the same thing, most recently against Mike Flanagan. He said, you know, that was a really great fight, and it was. Flanagan putting up a great battle, and he's a strong fighter himself. Flint, some great combinations right there, bringing up a three and a four, following that up, trying to get the six in there, the uppercut. 
You can see Clint swinging very wide here to start the second round. So far, Flint's been the aggressor. There's a two, there's a great two by Shea. Coming in strong down the middle. One of Shea's best weapons, the parry and the jab, all in one. Trying to get inside, open up Flint just a little bit more. Shea can be a good counter puncher. After a that's good right there. After a fast start to the round, both boxers are settling into their groove a little bit more. Shea working the body, Flint getting those loopy three fours to connect with the side of Shea's face. Flint really moving around, switching around the footing. Great, and this is what we call in boxing, changing the angle. Land a few punches, get out of there. Land a few punches, get to a next angle. That way the person who's being aggressed has no idea where your opponent is. Always keeping the advantage. Final 35 seconds to your second round. Flint ducking down, loses his orientation just a little bit, lands on a jab. And then Shea does the same with the left. Good defense by Shea. Still coming back. Referee's warning Flint not to hit the back side of the head. Shea's stalking Flint. Every time he does, he seems to run right into Flint's three. He gets off that left. That three coming around pretty quickly. But after the second round, we will move on. Still pretty even, I would say, between these two. Yeah, you know, it's it's even. I, I think I would give the, the edge there to, to Flint. Definitely a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but Shea's landing his fair share of punches. There's no way that you can say that Shea's out of this yet. These two trained together quite a bit last year. As you mentioned, Mike, both sophomores, so this is... This is great experience for them, and it's good for the club. You know, when you see boxers who are freshmen and sophomores who are making it to the finals, that's great for the Bengal Bout's mission and for the club because now you know that going on, once the seniors who graduate or the graduate students are gone, you still have the club in great hands. Yeah, we saw it with the freshmen earlier. We saw Garrett Schmeling out there. We saw Joe Guilfoyle. And now, guys who were freshmen last year who advanced pretty far, the semifinals and finals respectively, right here, deep in the finals. And these are guys that the younger ch people next year can look up to. Shea coming out firing. We're trying to tie him up. Flurry of punches to start this round. We're 15 seconds in, and we've already seen probably 20 punches. See if Flint with sometimes his wild style of the two minute rounds, if he's able to hold up, looks to be so good so far through this opening 30 seconds of the third round. Like I said, these guys are at every conditioning. They, they've put in the time and their bodies are well trained and well, very well ready for this event. Shea's still only throwing one or two punch combinations. Should open up a little bit more, get it on the body, Work to the side and go straight down. As they clench here, coming up on a minute remaining. Again, the referee warning Flint about hitting the back of Shea's heads, especially during clenches. Then trying to duck in, go to the body, and then come back up. He hits with the left. Shea coming back with the right. Two good punches there. Flint coming back. Shea couldn't capitalize. Shea. Taking two consecutive loopers to the face. Shea tried to come in with the five there. 30 seconds to go. You can see them both getting tired, but still some heavy swinging. Shea connected once, they'll clench. Don't be warned again. Clench, don't punch. Long way to end this third round. Both boxers trying to give it everything they have. They don't want to landing a few with the left and then the right. Don't want to leave the ring with any regrets. And that's it for round three in the final of the 173 pound championship bout. Wow, definitely two guys there. You could see them emptying the tank and throwing a lot of punches there in that final minute or so.
Absolutely, and I think you saw uh, Patrick Shea trying to make those adjustments of getting in on Flint. Flint's just very quick and you know, punching three or four times and then changing that angle so Shea can't stalk him and, and, and walk up into to Flint's body. Flint, great job connecting on the, the, the looping punches. You see a lot of boxers who might throw looping punches and expose themselves, but Flint, what he does so well is he throw the, throws the punches fast and he throws the punches efficiently. He lands the ones that he throws. So these two talented sophomores, it's a battle of technique versus the power, the explosiveness that we mentioned at the top of this fight, and it really lived up to it. We got a good one. Great. We've been able to, to really say that, though, Patrick, after every bout. And we've had some great ones back and forth and a lot that could have gone either way. It's a testament to the quality of coaching that these boxers receive during the months leading up to this tournament. It's, it's, it's great quality from... Uh, you, whether it's Coach Nate Walker or whether it's Coach Suttis, whether it's you know Coach Patrick Sweet C, you got them all, and they're just they're phenomenal coaches, and they care about their athletes, and they just they have the great advice. So here we'll see who wins in the 173 pound class. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention for the results of this 173 pound weight division, your champion by a split decision. In the gold corner, Zach Flint. Sophomore Zach Flint wins it in the 173 pound weight division over Patrick Shea. A terrific bout between two great boxers and Flint after going last year to the semifinals, losing to the eventual champion in Sun Ocho. He comes back as a sophomore after a summer of training and he gets the win here yep. today. Uh -huh.